Sunin, guide me. Bardith. Huh. Why so uneasy? <sighs> A king must forever be on guard. When I'm upset or uncertain, I come here to seek my father's spirit. I didn't even ask after him. Somehow I knew he'd... Some years ago, he was destined to die in battle, and he did. He sits with Odin now. My family owes yours a solemn debt. That winter, your family came to stay with us. I remember your birth, screaming like a warrior. The plague year. No one would take us in. No one but your mother and father. I owe your family my life. And what a life we had. I have fond memories of you and I slipping out to hunt. <laughs> in dead of night. Stars in the sky, moonlight on snow. <laughs> and that's how I got that scar. <laughs> I do feel bad about that. What about the one on your cheek? This? A caution from the gods about my vanity. Come, if we tell all our stories, we'll be here a week. Do you see something? My imagination run amok, but let us away. And Funny how just the slightest noise sets a fellow on edge. Why Thor's hammer, Barith? I could sleep a week. Not as spry as the old days, eh? When we searched the night in hopes of catching a will-o'-the-wisp? Did we catch one? I have a memory of catching one. My ascension to the throne has not been without contest. The previous king's son, Thorstein, is resentful. You told me nothing of this. You are my guest. I am not going to burden you with petty concerns. Petty concerns? I now know why you've been anxious all evening. Aye, it is worrying. He's never been so bold before. He sees you as a usurper to his throne. Perhaps, but he doesn't seem to want to take it. He contents himself by stealing and smuggling with his band of ruffians. It's petty Viking raiding, but it puts me in a bad light with Flan. That's certain. Keep a sharp watch. Brigands rove the streets tonight. You can be sure of me, my king. Oh, 
í tveim sumrum, fjórir mánaðar í brattlendi, flugur allt fram. Ugh. Drýi er hérri, þá er gömul völva í grenn. What? You know I am always the last to leave a party. What is wrong? We were ambushed by Thorstein's men. Rivals I was not made aware of. Small wonder King Flan does not embrace you, Barret. You cannot keep control of the Vikings in your own city. Thorstein makes me look like more of an arse than I do on my own. I see. It is the High King's disfavor that makes this shameful. My cousin? I will take care of Thorstein. No, I do not want to drag you into this sorry mess. Perhaps he'll accept Silver to lie low. For a week or two. But then he'll be back, and back again. I can remove this blood, once and for all. Eivor, this is not your fight. For any and all of your God's sakes, Barith, let Eivor help you. As of this moment, Barith, my arm is yours. Whatever is needed to bring Flan's smile upon you, I will do. Eivor... I have never been so happy. Your family saved mine those years ago. A fitting reply would be to secure your throne. I will start with Thorstein. It happens that Siegfrith may know something. He once ran with Thorstein's gang. Sadly true. Seek him tomorrow in the marketplace. After a night of carousing, he likes to recuperate there. We will begin to forge a bond with High King Flan on Rise of Sun. I'll never learn.
morning, Siegfried. Eivor. It was a rough night. I drank too much, and I am desperate to calm my belly. I cannot help your belly, but could you tell me what you know of this man, Thorstein? Ah. Da told you I tried to join his gang, eh? Thorstein is a real vikinger. Like you, but louder. You weren't allowed to join? Too young and gangly. Amar wouldn't even show me where his hideout is. Tell me a bit about this, Amar. Likes a rail the way kittens like milk. Spends her time getting tiddly on the docks, chatting up passersby. I will speak to her. Perhaps Thorstein will regret not letting you in his gang. Listen to me. If you're smart, you won't cross Amar. She's a vicious fighter. Survey the area, Sudan. Enjoying her ale. Likely to be a mom. What are you drinking, friend? The finest ale in town. I like fine things, so you have my attention. What are you doing here, darling? Looking for good drink and good company? <laughs> You've stumbled into the right ale house. Excellent ale and better conversation. The ale leads to chatting, leads to... well, who knows? <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> What is it you do? You may have heard of Thorstein. I'm one of his most trusted friends. I have heard of him. Very impressive that he trusts you. He's like a brother to me. A not very bright brother. He entrusted me with the key to his secret lair. He has a lair. I would very much like to see that. Over in Dupke Landing? <laughs> Sorry. Thorstein would get all pouty. But perhaps you'd like to join me for a meal. I'd rather join you for something else. <laughs> Can't wait to find out what that is. But hold that thought. I don't feel well. I best move about a bit. Won't be gentle if they spot me. I need to get that key from her. If I'm careful, I can avoid a fight. Out. 
Go, Zulin. I should be cautious around here. Spoke of. You made a mistake when you came for Barith Makiva. Oh, gods! You plan to kill me? Give my head to whatever Irish master you and Barith serve. I serve no Irish master. Borskat! 
If you had any Norse loyalty, you'd be like me, running the filthy God Eaters from the island. The King of Dublin should look out for Vikings, not try to make nice with those cunts who killed our forebears. Join me. I could use someone with real balls, and the silver is good. Be silent, and I might show you mercy. <laughs> Common refuse. Delivered to your judgment, King Bader. Thorstein, author of the plot to waylay me and my cousin. Well, you know how it is, Bardish. A fellow needs some silver. A king could fetch Dublin's treasury in ransom. Although I'm not certain you'd bring in quite so much. Say so, Bardish, and I will cut out his insolent tongue. On your feet, Thorstein. You bloody <sighs> my floors. <sighs> It is a weighty decision. I would have my closest friend advise me. Eivor? How shall I deal with this ruffian? People delight in public spectacle. Torture the man until he cannot walk, and no one will dare cross you again. Well said, Eivor. I want no blood feud lasting generations, Thorstein. You are not worth the bother. Dublin confiscates your land and silver. I banish you forevermore. Be gone by sundown. Bend the knee and show your thanks. Best to you, King. I've better places to be than Dublin. Father! Why choose weakness? Give every enemy a length of rope. Soon they will carry your news. Peace. Flanchina will soon rule all Ireland. Flanchina has the power to make or undo my kingship and that of my son. He is the center of all. But Flan distrusts me. He does not believe I'm truly Christian. By showing Christian mercy, I begin to change his mind. You are more shrewd than I took you for, cousin. Maybe Thorstein's release is worth a kingdom, but will mercy be enough? 
That is why I must build trade. Flan will see that the strength of Dublin's ports is the strength of Ireland. Show him the power of that trade, cousin. Obtain some rare item from afar. Some spice or gem or weapon. And gift it to him at the coronation. It will represent Dublin's reach and help secure my crown. Flan will hear of your Christian mercy. Meantime, I will speak to Asara about a gift. Meet me before the coronation. We will go together.